Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. We are looking in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12 today, and maybe over the next couple of days, because I want to talk about spiritual warfare. Uh, so I think sometimes we've gotten so accustomed to how this world works, and maybe got, grown accustomed to uh, the luxuries and the the niceties of this world, that we have forgotten that you and I are in a battle. We are called to be good soldiers of Jesus Christ. We're not. We're called to not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind, right? That, that idea of being separated, come out from among them and be separated, and that uh, all who live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. And so you and I are called to uh, the two more eternal things, not just the things that we see, but the things that uh, are that are occurring around us. We said there are only two eternal things in this world, and that's the word of God and the souls of men. And if we really believe that, you know, we should spend uh, at least a portion of our day, a portion of our week, um, trying to pursue those eternal things. But so many times, the uh, the, the lure of this world and the cares of this world, we have to pay bills, we have to take care of family issues and work issues and just life issues that we forget the, the, about the eternal aspects of, of life around us. There are eternal consequences at stake in people's lives and uh, we need to be reminded of that from time to time. And we get angry with our government, get angry with people and how they act and, and, and so forth. And, but we're told in Ephesians chapter 6, 12, it says, For you wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Paul reminds us that my problem is not with you and your problem is not with me, where our problem is not with the, someone that's in the high uh, in the White House, uh, but the fact is that there is a there's an unseen world out there, made up of demons and angels and uh, principalities and powers. All these things that are going on that we are not privy to. We don't have the spiritual discernment, the spiritual understanding, the spiritual uh, eyesight, so to speak, to to be able to see these things because they're they're kept from us. Uh, and I have to believe for our own good. But we see in the scripture where there was spiritual warfare in, in, in heaven, uh, where angel uh, uh, where Satan had deceived a third of the angels and he was cast out. There was spiritual warfare there. We, we see in the book of Job where um, uh, Satan was allowed, permitted to, uh, to touch Job physically, financially, uh, his family and so forth, and um, to to certain limits as ascribed by Almighty God, and and we know that maybe that's true in our lives, and and you know we we'd be best served to remember that nothing, as in Job's life, nothing happens to us unless God allows it. God is sovereign. God is in control. Satan has no power over me, other than what God allows him to have. Is that right? And so Paul here reminds us that our battle is not with one another, uh, but our battle is with the eternal battle, battle of, of that of Satan and his demons and, and those who um, seek to um, uh, push forward his, his agenda. And so we want to talk about that over the next couple of days because you and I need to be reminded that we're in a battle. And uh, it's a tough battle. All who live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. And my friends, persecution is coming. And if we're not careful, we can lose, uh, we can lose focus on what really matters. We can lose focus on, on, uh, on God's love and care and purposes for, for our lives. And, and, uh, and we can forfeit the rewards that could be ours because of that lack of focus. And I, I don't want you to lose focus. I want to finish uh, this, this track, this, this race together with you. So we want to talk about this over the next couple of days. 
this idea of that spiritual battle. And we'll delve into Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12 tomorrow, Lord willing. But in the meantime, can I encourage you to get into your word, to get into uh, get into church, get where you need to be, and do what you're supposed to be doing. Jesus, I believe, is coming back soon, and uh, we need to be ready. Amen? This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying, God loves you, and I love you as well, and I'll talk to you soon.